In this room, you can see the equipments of samurai. You can see the Japanese swords, spears, armors, helmets and harness of samurai. Japanese armor was made of iron, leather, brocade, and precious and semi-precious metals. Functional as well as aesthetical, it required skilled artisans many months to make. It also consisted of many parts. The basic components included the do, chest armor, kote, armored sleeves, sode, shoulder guard, kabuto, the helmet, haidate, thigh guards, and sunate, shin guards. Another major change in samurai warfare caused by the Mongol invasions came in the form of mounted combat. Where of course previously the samurai had been mostly mounted archers, the efficiency of mounted samurai as shock cavalry became more apparent. Thus in a need to create armor that better suited the needs of mounted melee combat, samurai began switching their chest pieces from that of the oyaroi to the domaru which worked to create a hybrid flex. Good armor was incredibly expensive and time-consuming to make, with sets of armor often being passed down generation to generation. Though the Hollywood depictions of ornate samurai armor were actually worn, these sets were only worn by high-ranking field commanders as a way to bolster morale of their troops before battle. Rather, though samurai armor was cosmetically beautiful, contrary to the movies, it was more simple and utilitarian. In Actually, all cultures throughout history have their own warriors, and Japan is no exception. Back then, their sword and armors still resembled their counterpart from the Asian mainland. They used straight double-edged swords, surugi, and wear the tanko, and later the keiko lamellar armor. If you compare it to the armor from the Chinese Han Dynasty and the Korean Gaia Confederacy, then you can obviously see the similarity.